Uh, hey everybody, this is Mr. Keeney again. Um, the second remote learning lesson. Uh, it's, this time we're going to do area and perimeter of parallelograms. Um, I did leave off one of them. I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, first of all, parallelogram. Here's an example picture here. Uh, it does not have to have four right angles or two right angles, whatever you want to think about that. Basically, we just need to make sure we know the base and the height, and those two things need to form a right angle, just like with our um, triangles that we did yesterday. Uh, our formula for this is area equals base times height, probably something that you've seen before. Rectangle is a parallelogram, so we will have the same area formula, area equals base times height. The only difference is that the base and the height will probably or will be a side length um, because the base and the height form right angles, and in rectangles we have these four right angles in our shape. The last one is square. Again, because a square is a parallelogram, we have base times height. We also have a special one here. It's a square, so if I take a side here, um, it'll be the same as the side over there, same as the side here, same as the side here. All four sides are the same. So if I want to find the area, not only can I do base times height, but the base is going to be the same as the height. And if I call that value s like I have in my picture, I can have the area be expressed as side squared, which is kind of makes sense to in our brains because we think square, unit squared. So it makes you know just even more sense that a formula could be side squared. Uh, just example problems here for you, nothing too crazy for today, really just kind of building a foundation um, for once we're moving into our 3D unit, uh, you're going to be able to uh, mine the area of these parallelograms pretty quickly, pretty efficiently. I did, and I'm just now remembering, I did leave off rhombus. We will address that in a later remote lesson video. So hold off on rhombus and I will talk about it in future videos. Okay, so three quick examples. Find the area and perimeter of the following. I did not put on perimeter here just because I think it is kind of knowledge to you guys where I'm just adding up all four sides together, but we will cross that bridge once we get there. I'm gonna start with area. This is a square. I know that because I have four right angles and all the sides are congruent. So I'm gonna choose to use the area equals side squared. My side length is 11, so area equals 11 squared and 11 squared is 121. It does not give us specific units, so I'm gonna say 121 units squared or square units. You can say that either way. Last thing I need here is my perimeter. The perimeter, again, is adding up all sides because that gets us the distance around the shape. And in a square, we really have two options. We can do 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11, um, but for perimeter, I guess I'll put this over here in this box. It could be four times the side length. Um, I'll just do adding all the sides together. 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus 11, which will get 44 units. Box that in. Remember with perimeter, it is just units, not square units. Uh, next one is a rectangle. So I'm gonna use area equals base times height. Pretty straightforward problem here. My base is nine, my height is three. So nine times three, which is 27 units squared. And for perimeter, again, you really have a choice. So I'm gonna add this perimeter for, uh, perimeter formula for rectangle, which is two times the length plus two times the width. You have that, I'm gonna stick to, it'll be old fashioned. This would work as well. But if I know this is nine, this is nine, that's three, that's three, and I'm just gonna add all the sides together. Just my personal preference, either way will work. You'll get the same answer. You might wanna try that yourself. Just check my work. Nine plus nine is, oop, I forgot a plus sign here. Nine plus nine is 18, three plus three is six. Yes, you could have just done all this one step. I took my time and I get 24 units. And our last example, just got a parallelogram. I know this because of the parallel markings here. Um, I wanted to make sure to include a lesson like this. Not that this is too rigorous, but it is something that I still see um, some of my students, some of my good students make mistakes on as they go through quickly here and they say, base is 16 and my height is 12. Uh, remember, we want our height to be perpendicular to our base, so our height is actually going to be 10. So 16 times 10, 12 is not perpendicular to our bases. Um, area is 160 units squared. Now this 12 does come into play though for perimeter, because for perimeter I would have all four sides added together and in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal. So that's where I'm going to do 12 plus 12 plus 16 plus 16. 
Um, and I'll just do this again one at a time. 12 plus 12 is 24. 16 plus 16 is 32. And the whole entire perimeter, I'm getting 56. You might want to again check my work, see if you guys catch any mistakes. But that is area and perimeter of parallelograms, including rectangles and squares, and you'll learn more about rhombuses in the coming days. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.